Do you think, though, that actually the Palladino situation with uh, the, the anti-gay comments that he made in Brooklyn actually did Andrew Cuomo a favor? Because at one point there were members of the gay community who were not who felt that perhaps he hadn't been there enough. He hadn't made the calls he should have made during the marriage debate, and maybe he hadn't been as loud as he should have been in support of your issues. Well, I, I don't think that's entirely accurate, Liz, because let's, let's face it, Andrew was there when uh, defending uh, uh, same-sex marriages which were performed out of state, having them uh, be valid in the state. And Andrew does have a history, you know, as the HUD commissioner uh, in the past uh, fighting for LGBT rights. Um, with respect to Palladino, uh, let's face it, I think it's official. His campaign is a train wreck. We can say it safely now. And, and the man basically, I'm sorry to say, uh, 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 maybe it's uh, difficult to say, but he has has political Tourette's and it's just one more group that he's offended and offended in a really big way. But let's be let's be honest, he was never going to get the gay vote. I mean, you never would have voted for Carol Palladino. Not only are you a Democrat, but you just you don't agree with him on any of the issues at all. I mean, he, he never was going to get your vote. Well, well, that's the thing is he keeps going. It's like as if he has this imaginary checklist of who do I need to offend? Well, let's see, I've offended the minority community. I've offended uh, poor people in our state. I've offended the gay community now. I've offended women with my uh, uh, obnoxious uh, position on uh, choice. So it's as if he has this imaginary checklist that he's going through, and, and the gays were just next on the list. And who's next?